bit of a test now. Rocket stove. Firebox. Entrance into riser tube. But excuse the sniffing because I've got another stinking cold. There's the temporary chimney just rising up, taped together like all good chimneys are. I've got the uh, <coughs> water plumbed in into that little plastic tank and the seven gallons at that level. The water temperature is 36 degrees just put this thermometer outside so the top reading isn't accurate but it's 2.4 C uh, 11.4 C outside which is actually a bit lower than that that's in, that's in the sunshine right so I'm going to give this a burn now and see how it goes you've got to try and imagine that that I know it's a stretch of the imagination <laughs> But you've got to try and imagine that that is one enclosed unit, one total unit. The firebox is the same size as the actual casing for the rocket tube. But it, that's that's actually a little bit tall, that box. It maybe wants to be four inches lower than that. Five inches lower than that. So you've got to imagine that box would come along and then go down and it would just be one complete unit with a door on the front where the firebox is uh, and then the chimney going out the top as I've said before I'm not totally set on this bell shaped boiler I can see problems with it really I think the main obstacle is going to be the condensation from the burn the moisture that is hitting the boiler and then dripping down in which will be inside the stove so I think this may be not the right way to go and I think it's just going to be a simple coiled pipe heat exchanger that's wrapped around the riser or wrapped around the inside of the actual rocket chamber anyway I'll, I'll test this out and It'll give me some figures to compare in the future when I, when I build the next one. So I'll get the thing lit. So it's been 15 minutes since I lit the fire. A bit dodgy in this sunlight. Just a tiny little fire going there. That bucket was just full of them sticks when I started so yeah well I used nearly half the bucket which actually is still burning they've only just caught a light properly it's so cold today and that wood was wet very damp so we've got a clean burn you can see from the chimney a lovely clean burn going on the clean burn started it was probably four or five minutes into the actual burn when it started uh, the water's flowing nicely it's just about starting to boil inside the boiler that is it's getting bloody hot now that uh, as I say there's seven gallons of water in the entire system that includes the boiler and this header tank Quite, uh, quite chuffed with that. I don't know what it's like inside this housing. It's maybe, it's maybe full of water down inside the condensation from that wood. But I guess in a proper stove, that condensation would naturally evaporate out of the system. The firebox as they say sucks but <laughs> it doesn't suck enough it's because there's no it's just you know it's just bodged on the side there and hope and glory and hope it works sort of thing but it's working I've put, had to just wedge that plate in 
because the opening was too big so naturally the fire was wanting to vent out of the space rather than pull down the rocket chamber but it's, get, it's not a bad little drawer on that rocket chamber there uh, and when that fuel's burned down in there which is half a bucket I would seriously think that it's going to have boiled that seven gallon of water because it's almost there now it's probably halfway there the problem that this stove was fighting is the water was so cold this morning it was there was actually ice <coughs> on the barrel that I took the water from it froze hard last night so that water I did write it down what the actual temperature was I think it was three four degrees the temperature of the water uh, when, I, when it started so it's had to fight that it's had to fight that initial really cold boiler the rock the little rocket as it started to burn the boiler is the casing has been so cold you know four degrees so it's had to make some headway heat that up before it can start to you know warm itself up and draw Looking good. Come back to this in five ten minutes. Okay, so it's been about forty was it no sorry forty five minutes and the water started boiling put about ten minutes ago. Um, according to my little thermometer here, it's hot enough to boil a pig. <laughs> well it's hot enough to boil yeah, nearly hot enough to boil a pig. Uh, we're just coming up to hot enough to boil a chicken. <laughs> but, I mean, it's okay that. The couple of problems. This water is losing so much heat because it is so cold today. You can tell by the steam coming off that. The bucket's kind of bulged out manically. So I had to add about another gallon of water to it because of the heat softened the plastic and caused it to bulge. A couple of little drips there on, on the fitting, but that, that doesn't matter. Uh, this thing is nice and warm. The flue pipe is virtually... Well, it's not cold cold there at the top there's not a great deal of heat coming out the top it's just warm it's it's still a clean burn it's fantastic um, the bar oh, that is warm so there's the, it is retaining heat this thing you know, it's retaining a lot of heat the flue it's warm there as, obviously as you go further up it just gets virtually cold at the top but like I said there's not a lot of heat coming out the top so it's not sucking too much heat out of there the fire is just about dying down now I've used that much wood I don't think there's any point burning any more now I'll consider that tested it gives me some figures as to what's going on. Uh, so, test one, sort of successful. I'll leave it at that.